SEA students, schools closed but your learning continues with KFC and JJ and Friends SEA Success Series. Learn math, language arts, creative writing and comprehension, all based on the Ministry of Education's SEA 2019-2023 framework while in the comfort and safety of your home. Hi everyone and welcome to the SEA Success Series by JJ and Friends. I am Danielle Siraj and I will be guiding you through some topics in mathematics. So in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at place value of digits in whole numbers. Before we get into this lesson, you should be familiar with single digits from zero to nine, and you would have met place value before. You would have seen it with numbers up to probably the hundreds position. Let's talk about the ones, those little easy ones that you know. You know numbers such as zero, one, and two. So these are some of those basic whole numbers. Now we know that whole numbers get larger, they don't only stay in the single digits. You might meet whole numbers such as 25. You might meet numbers like 251. Whole numbers also grow larger and larger. Now you notice a trend here. We went from single digits to double digits and then we have three digits. As we get larger with whole numbers, we keep adding places to our numbers. So you'll notice that here we have one digit, here we have another position, and that's how we got these two digits, and then we have three digits here, so we have a third position introduced. Why do we introduce these positions? These positions all indicate something very unique about the position and that digit's value. And that's where we get into this concept of place value. So, when we talk about whole numbers getting larger, first I want to introduce you to what those positions are. So when we talked about those single digits, we were talking about only counting in ones or in units. Some of you may be familiar with the term ones, but some parents and maybe grandparents or even teachers might use something called units. All right, so this position, like I said, is called the ones position. or alternatively, we call it the units position. Then, in a number like 25, we have two positions. This position here is our ones position, and the two is in what we call the tens position. Now let's look at a number like 251. In this number, we have a ones position. We have a tens position. And this largest position here, this last one, we call the hundreds position. Now, there are values associated with each one, and that's the reason for the name of the position. All right, so now let's take a look at the trend that we notice here as the numbers get larger. Now, you notice that the names indicate the value of this position. You notice as well that the value is increased. Well, there's a pattern to the increase in the value of each position. As we move from position to position, you get and increased by 10 times the previous value. So when we were working with the ones position, we only had groups of one. But then as we introduced the tens position, the tens position had a value 10 times its previous position. So the previous position one times 10 gives us 10. And in our tens position, we will count by tens. In our hundreds position, which is 10 times 10, we will count in groups of 100. So every new position, the larger we get, we increase by 10 times the previous position's value. So the numbers that you all will be working with, we would look at positions such as ones, the tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, as well as millions. So this is the largest value we'll be looking at when it comes to place value. When we talk about abbreviating the ones, we use O. Abbreviating the tens position, we use T. 
abbreviating the hundreds position, we use H. Abbreviating the thousands, we will use T with a common H. When we abbreviate tens of thousands, we use T, TH to represent tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands, we abbreviate with H, capital H, and then T with a lowercase h. And millions, we will just use capital M. So in SCA, we actually work with numbers only up to the millions position, but there are numbers larger than that as well. Let's actually look at representing the digits in each of their positions respectively. Whenever we have to talk about place value of digits in whole numbers, we always start with the digit in the ones position. Now, which digit is in the ones position? We always begin with the digit on the extreme right of our number. That digit is the digit that is in the ones position. So let's look at this number, for example. Here we have the number 29,305. The digit on the extreme right of this number, that's this digit here, is the digit which is in the ones position. So if I wanted to write this in according to its place value, using this table of place value positions, I will take the digit five and I will write it in the ones column. Now, when we want to put all the digits in the number in their respective place value positions, we continue moving to the left of the number. So once we find one's position, every digit to the left, you'll start to place them in the place value positions that increase in size. This digit here is in the tens column. So zero, we're going to write in the tens column. The next digit is in the hundreds position and that digit will be three. Our next position, which is the thousands position, that digit is nine. And the last digit we have in this number is two. And two occupies what we call the tens of thousands position. Now you don't always need to use this table. Once you can actually look at the number and identify the digit in the ones position, and you know all your place values from that position onward, you can simply write the abbreviations for each position at the top of the digits like this. So here we have our ones position. Here's our tens position, hundreds position, thousands position, and tens of thousands. So the idea is to always remember how to find your ones digit or the position of the ones column. Then from there, every position increases in value and you always move to the left of your one's position where your positions will increase in value from there. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with the KFC and JJ and Friends SEA Success Series. The SEA Mathematics paper consists of three sections with a total of 45 items worth 100 marks and encompasses the four strands of the 2019-2023 syllabus, which are number, measurement, geometry, and statistics. Here's how the marks are allocated. All sections test on the four strands. Section 1 contains 20 items, one mark is given per item. Section 2 also contains 20 items. However, the child can obtain 3, 2, 1 or 0 marks based on the type of question and how correct the answer is or how much working is done. Section 3 contains 5 questions. The child can obtain 4, 3, 2, 1 or 0 marks based on how correct the answer is or how much working is done. The SEA Success Series will help your child achieve his or her highest marks in the SEA. For more info, call 374-7322. Technically, a KFC bucket is a conical shape that holds pieces of chicken. But in reality, it's so much more. It's a remote caller. A craving generator. A table enlarger. Eliminator of rivalries. But above all, a KFC bucket is finger-licking good. 
There are lessons on TV, there are lessons online, and then there is a complete educational system that can transform your home into a safe, interactive virtual classroom with video-based lessons to keep your child's attention, wall charts for quick reference, flashcards to improve their visual memory, reading books to let their imagination grow, board games for learning while having fun, parental guides so you can help them learn, erasable writing mats for continuous practice, and workbooks to help them focus and stay on task. No internet connection required, nor does your child have to be online to use these educational systems. Call us now and receive a free Kindle Fire with your purchase, or if your child has a tablet, contact us for a software and workbooks version. This offer is for a limited time only. Here we have a question that is modeled exactly as they come in the SCA test. State the place value of the digits underlined in the number below. So here we have the number 25,891. And we notice that there's a line under the number eight. So we want to associate the digit eight with its respective place value as it is in this number. So how are we going to do that? Well, we begin by associating each position in this number and those digits. So the first position we're going to look for will be the ones position. The ones position, that digit is one. The digit in the tens position is nine. And the digit in the hundreds position is eight. The digit in the thousands position is five and the digit in the tens of thousands position is two. So the digit underlined here was eight and to find its place value, its place value is the hundreds because it is in the hundreds column. The final answer for us would be that the place value of the digit eight is hundreds. Let's take a look at another example. State the place value of the digits underlined in the number below. So notice we have an extra position this time. We have six digits here. This number is 315,205 and we have the digit three underlined. So let's go ahead and work on this one and see what we get for our place value. So we begin just as we did in the previous example by associating each digit with its respective place value. So we start from the rightmost digit, which is five, which is in our ones position. The digit zero occupies the tens position. The digit two occupies the hundreds position. Five occupies our thousands position. One occupies our tens of thousands position. And lastly, three occupies our hundreds of thousands position. So the place value of the underlined digit. The underlined digit was three. And the position of this number is in the hundreds of thousands place. So this place value is hundreds of thousands. Some important things to note about numbers, place values. The first thing is this, whenever you have to write the place value of a number or any digit in a number, we start from the rightmost digit. Once you can find one's position, you'll remember that every number in that digit moving to the left has an increasing place value. Stay tuned for past paper questions when we return. The SEA Mathematics paper consists of three sections with a total of 45 items worth 100 marks in total. The paper encompasses the four strands of the 2019 to 2023 syllabus, which are 1. Numbers, broken down into whole numbers, fractions, decimals, and percentages. 2. Measurement, which consists of linear measure, area, volume, and capacity, mass, and time. 3. Geometry, which encompasses solids and plane shapes, symmetry, and angles. And 4. Statistics, which covers the representation and interpretation of data on tables, charts, and graphs, and its effectiveness. Determining a suitable scale for data and recording the scale in a key. Using analyzed data to solve problems and communicating findings and decisions made using appropriate vocabulary associated with statistics, as well as determining and solving problems involving mode and mean of given data. The SES Success Series will help your child achieve his or her highest marks 
in the SEA. For more info, call 374-7322. Wait, what am I doing? He is my boss, the one who named me employee of the month. Am I really not sharing with him? Kiss goodbye to that raise. I can always move back in with my parents. But my big buy box is my big buy box. KFC's big buy box. Easy to enjoy, hard to share. Repetition is key to learning. To seek the lessons in the KFC and JJ and Friends SEA Success Series, visit JJ and Friends on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram at JJ and Friends Limited. Now that we've learned about place value, let's take a quick look at the SEA past papers to see how these questions come on the SEA exam. So here we have SEA 2016 question 2 and notice how early these questions come on the test paper. This is question 2. State the place value of the underlined digit. Here we have the number 87,564. Notice that the digit eight is underlined. We're going to approach this question like we've looked at those examples we've done earlier. First, we're going to associate each digit in this number with its place value. So we start from the right of the number and that digit being four, we'll put it in the ones column. Next, we'll write six in the tens column five in the hundreds column, seven in the thousands column, and lastly, eight in the tens of thousands column. What is the place value of the underlying digit? Since eight is in the tens of thousands column, we are going to say that eight is in the tens of thousands position and its place value is tens of thousands. Now let's write our solution. We can either write tens of thousands in numerals or we can write it in words. And this gives us our solution to our past paper question. Let's just take a quick recap of what we've done today. Today we've looked at place value of digits in whole numbers, and we've learned that zero is called a placeholder as it fills empty positions. We've also learned that whenever we want to look at the place value of digits in whole numbers, we start from the digit to the right of the number, and that will be the digit in the ones position, and each position increases in value as we move to the left of that digit. So now that we've looked at place value, I hope that you can do any question when you have place value involved. This topic is very essential as it builds for all the other topics you will be looking at in your journey in mathematics with whole numbers. For this and all other lessons covered in the SEA syllabus, contact us at JJ and Friends. We also have workbooks available for you so that your child can use them for practice. As you know, SEA is a written exam. In order to get better at mathematics, you must be practicing. So parents, grandparents, children, I encourage you all to get as much material as you can to keep yourself practicing at all times to master every skill that you are going to be taught through our lessons. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with the KFC and JJ and Friends SEA Success Series. Even though school is closed, your child's SEA preparation does not stop. Let them learn math, language arts, creative writing and comprehension in the comfort and safety of your home. Using the JJ and Friends apps, workbooks and wall charts, all designed using the Ministry of Education's primary school curriculum and SEA 2019-2023 framework. Our program covers numbers, measurement, money, geometry, statistics, parts of speech, subject-verb agreement, conjunctions and joining sentences, active and passive voice, classical analysis, sentence analysis, direct and indirect speech, punctuation, spelling and vocabulary. Create the perfect learning environment in the safety of your home today. Plus, get a free Amazon Kindle Fire. Get your child fully prepared for SEA with the JJ and Friends SEA Success Series. Call now, 800-READ.